We're getting really close to the next phase of everything Muscle Island. Uh, Kyle will kind of show around all these different piles of, we got concrete here, we got slabs over here, all these different, couple different types of dirt back here. Uh, it's about to, in a matter of like a day, it's about to look a whole lot different. So we're gonna start spreading out all the dirt and just kind of leveling out any uneven spots. Kyle's already kind of showed um, all these barrels, there's 18 of these barrels that I'll kind of get more details on here in a little bit, but that's, those are the, the holes where the foundation's gonna sit. Um, so all that dirt's about to be moved and all this concrete's gonna start to be utilized for when we start bringing in more heavy equipment like this over here. And so that way we can drive over it and not disturb the dirt anymore and kind of keep everything a nice, even grade. Um, but yeah, so as, as, as soon as like the next 24 hours, this place is gonna start to look a, a whole lot different. So all this craziness right here, you can see some poly pipe and if you, the cow gets kind of close, you can see we got like big pieces of rubble. We literally by hand, we're slapping dirt on here to fill in the cracks of cinder, big slabs of dirt, big pieces of, of uh, cut up concrete to put together a makeshift seawall, if you will, to keep the beach from withering away and the water rushing up on here. And when we were, when we were putting all that together, the dirt that we're standing on now, I mean, this is a good couple of few feet higher because if I were standing here just a few weeks ago when we were rectifying all this area here, I mean, where the dirt is at now would have been water up to my knees or higher. So this is, uh, it's a lot of good progress now. It definitely doesn't look like it used to, a lot healthier. All right, so when Kyle was showing that wide pan shot of all of those blue barrels right at the ground level all across the island, um, there's 18 of those holes. And so basically what those barrels are doing is providing like a two foot by two foot open space. That way that hole doesn't collapse. And so what's at the bottom of that, that spacing is basically just a plate, which is the, the top of those helical piles, uh, which is going to serve as the foundation. And so as Kyle's zooming in here, this little drawing, it's kind of hard to make out, but what's, what's going to happen is down in that two foot space, we're going to remove the barrels and put a rebar cage down in there, which is going to fill that void. And then we're going to pour concrete. So that two by two space, I think is what it's measured at, is going to be filled with concrete. It's going to be supported by rebar. And so once we let that concrete cure, um, we're going to put block on top of that. And so, and then like another steel plate on top of that rebar cage, if I'm remembering this correctly. And so what's going to happen is after about a 10 day period, when that concrete cures and that block is set right there, uh, it's then going to be loading day. So we're going to transport all those containers one by one. And as soon as we get them off the barge and onto the island, um, we're going to be able to set them. All four corners of each of those containers are going to sit on top of um, that little drawing that Kyle had just zoomed in on. So uh, what we had showed this morning when we were out there in that video, getting footage out there is basically just um, the process of, of what those look like right now and the general state of the island because um, here in probably less than 24 hours, we're going to have that concrete start to be poured. All of that dirt and all that concrete that we were showing and talking about is going to be put to use now. And so I would say the next time we check in for a Muscle Island vlog, you'll be seeing um, concrete and maybe containers being stacked.